Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, continuing some shelf beer reviews. I've been having a lot of fun doing these recently. Um, from Sierra Nevada, I thought this was Torpedo, and I'm realizing that now when I'm looking at this can, this is not the same beer. Um, I thought this was just regular Torpedo, but this is called Atomic Torpedo. And from what I can gather, I think this is their Torpedo recipe, but they're kind of making it a blend of East and West Coast um, IPAs. 8.2% alcohol by volume by the uh, pretty label. It says Juicy West Coast Double IPA. Uh, Sierra Nevada, Chico, I think they're in, where else are they, North Carolina maybe? Sierra Nevada, Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. So, um, yeah, saw this at the store the other day, grabbed it. Um, I just, I've been enjoying just being able to go to liquor stores and grab beers and drink them and talk to you guys about them. Um, I just, the whole chasing beer just is not appealing to me anymore, so maybe we'll just switch gears and just do standard beers you can get <laughs> at any grocery store or liquor store. So, um, not the freshest canned. It was canned on uh, May 18th. So today is July 17th, just under two months. Um, I didn't even look when I grabbed it. So I just, I looked this morning when I was uh, going through my fridge. So, you know what? Not a big deal. Uh, I'm a big fan of regular Torpedo. I used to drink that beer all the time. Uh, but yeah, I looked and I've never had this beer before. So. Let's do it. Ooh, it's old school dark. This probably looks really dark on camera because beers that usually look darker to me look really, really dark. Just clean this glass out. There's bubbles everywhere. Yeah, that's like copper amber color, uh, but it is crystal clear. It is awesome. I fucking love clear beer so hard. Uh, finger of, that's like an eggshell, kind of a khaki head. Um, really, really compact bubbles. Um, that head's dissipating fairly quickly. I guess you'd expect that for an over 8% beer. Um, I've talked about this a lot. I'm not really big on double IPAs these days. I'm hashtag team low ABV, but 8.2%, not a big deal. 19.2 ounce can. This can was $2.99 at the liquor store. So seems like a pretty decent deal to me. You can't get 19 ounce pours at a bar for three bucks. So let's shove our fat nose in it. See what it's got. This actually smell. I, I was expecting, I don't know why I would say, I was expecting it to smell like kind of big and sweet and sticky um, since it's over 8%. But this actually, it says Juicy West Coast. It has like, it's you don't think juicy like hazy juicy. Um, I think this reminds me of when I used to think beers were juicy smelling back in the day. Uh, it's more like hop juice flavor, not like fruit juice flavor. This is pretty piney though. It's resinous. Um, it does have like that sticky thing, but much like uh, the Dale's Pale Ale that we drank yesterday, it's got this cool, like just rich kind of breadiness. I don't know if I'm just used to drinking extremely hoppy beers, but I was expecting this to be really over the top hoppy. I mean, it's two months in the can. It's not crazy. Beers hold up great in cans, I think. Um, but this doesn't smell like overly hoppy to me. I kind of want to have my wife smell this and see what she thinks. It is pretty floral. Um, yeah, floral, maybe like a little bit of like sweet. I, I never really ate honey, but it kind of has like a sweet kind of honey thing. It smells awesome. So let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. That doesn't drink like 8.2% at all. Wow. Maybe I am a double IPA guy again. <laughs> this drinks way under the ABV, in my opinion. But it tastes almost exactly what it smells like. It's floral. It's got pine needles. Um, but it's got just this awesome... I, I don't know what it is about the last two beers. Maybe it's the malts that they use. Um, it's got that brown bread thing. And I love brown bread. If you ever go to like restaurants that serve brown bread before you eat... Dude, I used to for just take huge pieces of brown bread and just slather it with butter and smash on them before the food came. <laughs> I used to love that. These beers, um, it reminds me of that. 
this has a decent it's not like offensive or over the top it's like got a good bitterness right in the middle of your tongue um it's funny because it says juicy west coast ipa this i don't think it doesn't really drink like a west coast ipa because it's not overly bitter it's not overly hoppy it's not overly resinous not that they're all like that these days but when you think of sierra nevada like they're old school um just have been around forever making west coast style beers um i'd like, I'd like to grab some more sierra nevada pale ale because i remember that beer being really really hoppy um but this beer isn't crazy crazy hoppy to me and like i said it might just be because i drink so many like overly aggressive hoppy beers this is a much more like drinkable if that makes sense if that even sounds right, 8.2% <laughs> double IPA. There is like a sweet honey character to it. But yeah, super floral, um, some pine needles, and then just an awesome rich, just malty sweetness that balances it out. These beers that are balanced are, I mean, they're awesome for me. I, I, I enjoy over the top hoppy beers. Um, and when I drank hazy beers, I really love like that super intense like juicy f flavor, but having beer that is beer and it has a cool balance. Um, there's been a couple people who commented that, you know, a couple of these last reviews, the beers are too multi form and they don't like it. I guess as I'm, as I'm getting older, I'm coming to appreciate more multi beers. Um, cause this is something that's really, really good. It's not palate fatiguing. It's not over the top. I mean, the only thing is that it's over 8%. It doesn't drink like an 8% beer, but I mean, you get in trouble with this beer like this is really really drinkable again i keep saying it it's warm here in north county san diego um i mean i feel like i could chug this beer it's crazy it's super drinkable for you know for 8.2 percent i am a fan um this just wouldn't be an everyday kind of a beer for me because of that the abv um what is regular sierra nevada pale ale like 5.6 something like that would be my wheelhouse if i was going to drink beer every day this is delicious um, but it's just not something I would want to drink every day because I don't want to get fucking hammered every day. But um, if that's your thing, this beer is for you. So um, if you see this, check it out. I think it's worth your time, even at two months in the can. Maybe super fresh. It's, you know, more of a hot present, like more intense with like the piney kind of floral resin thing. It's definitely there, but it's not offensive, not over the top. I mean, it sounds crazy, but this is another beer that I think I would give to somebody who's trying to get into hoppy beers and they think they don't like hoppy beers just because of the balance with the sweetness of the malts. It just works well. So, um, have you guys had this? Do you like it? Let me know. Uh, that's it. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.